hello everyone i'm frank and welcome back to this channel once again please if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to this channel but we are all there thanks so much for coming back so today i'll be walking through how to design another awesome church flyer in photoshop and this is coming up so here in photoshop to create your new document you go to file new to create a new document or better still you can hit on ctrl n add the shortcut key for creating a new document and i'm going to leave this paper size in inches and make sure i will set my weight to 10 and then my height also to 10 and then i'll leave my resolution to 300 pixels per inches and then i'll hit on create so i'll be having this as my new document all right so the next thing to do is to add a solid color to this um paper size and then i'll go for my solid color area and then i'll start typing the solid color color codes i have here all right so the color code i have is what one six one five one a so one six one five one a i'll make sure to leave this color code in the description for you guys to follow suit so the next thing to do is to add a couple of background images to this document so i'll quickly go to my folder and then drag and drop this um beautiful image in photoshop okay so i'll drag and drop this here like this and then i'll make sure to transform it to fit my document something like this and then i'll hit on enter use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top of the document like this okay so i'll right click on a layer and then rasterize it and then i'll make sure to add a layer mask to it then i'll hit on g the g is actually the shortcut key for the gradient tool all right so i'll choose this one and then i'll make sure to wipe the areas that i don't need so i don't actually need all these areas yes i don't need all these areas so i will now go to my blending options and then make sure to set this to luminosity and then i will be setting this to luminosity just take note that this image has been set towards luminosity okay so the next thing to do is to hit on t as what my shortcut key for the test tool and then i'll start to you know add a couple of tests to this document so i'll be having this there Control a select everything and then make sure to change the color to white and then accept the whole thing in photoshop Control t to make a little bit of transformations to that like this okay and then make sure the whole thing is something very big all right so change the whole thing into caps and then make sure to change the font also to a font called big noodles big noodles yes so that is actually the font i've used for this particular document so big noodles yes so are we having this there like that okay so use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this okay so control t to still make an adjustment to that so are we having this there beautiful control g to make a duplicate from this one then use your arrow keys to drag the whole thing down like this ctrl t to make an adjustment to that i'll be having this there like this and then go for my test tool again and then ctrl a select everything and then i'll be having this there as well all right so i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop and then make sure i'll use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing so that it can be underneath of the who so the program is actually who can battle with the lord who can battle with the lord so control j again to make another duplicate and then move the whole thing here like this i also go back for my test tool control a and then i'll be having battle so who can battle with the lord accept the whole thing in photoshop and then control t to you know make uh, an adjustment to that again here all right so use the arrow keys to make sure the whole thing has been aligned with each other so control t again and then make sure the whole thing has been transformed like this okay so i'll be having this there like that i don't know whether this is what i've shown you guys on the thumbnail all right so i'll still go for my rectangular tool and then draw a very nice rectangle here like this okay and then i'll change the color from 
this to white so i'll be using a white color for the main time okay so i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop and then i'll use my arrow keys again to drag the whole thing here all right so i'll make sure to you know decrease it so control t to still make an adjustment to that and then i'll be having this there so i'll have this there like this okay so i'll still come back for my can and then drag it down like this so that the whole thing can be aligned with each other so control t here to you know make an adjustment again like this okay so i'll be having this there like that beautiful and then i'll come back for the rectangle and then make sure i'll duplicate it and then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing forward like just drag the whole thing so that it will be aligned with the battle okay so who can battle with the law so i'll go for my test tool again and then i'll go for with the lord so who can actually battle with the lord okay so accept the whole thing in photoshop and then control t to make um, a transformation on that so i have this here like that accept the whole thing in photoshop and then double click on the text layer change the color from white to um, the background color accept the whole thing in photoshop and then drag the whole thing on top of the rectangle drawn on top of the rectangle drawn okay so the next thing i'll do is to go back to my resources and then make sure to drag and drop this beautiful image i have grabbed from google on top of the who layer like this so make sure to transform the whole thing to fit the document so right click on it and then rasterize the whole layer right click again and then i'll create a clipping mask on that okay so Control J to make a duplicate and then drag it on top of this layer. Right click and then create another um, mask there. Okay. So I'll come back for the rectangle I have drawn here and then make sure to change the color from white to something yellow like this. So just choose the color from the test. So this is exactly what I've shown you guys on the thumbnail okay so i'll still go back to my resources and then add this beautiful image this is the image i've actually used for the whole flyer okay so i'll have it there and then make sure to drag it at the left scanner like this Control t again to make an adjustment to that okay so i will save the whole thing in photoshop like this okay so i'll go for my uh, rectangular tool again and then draw a very nice rectangle here like this and then make sure to change the color from stroke to a whitish color so we'll be having this there like that and then make sure the rectangle is underneath our layer like that okay so i'll also go back to my layer my image layer use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing downward like this okay so i think this is exactly what i've shown you guys on the thumbnail all right so let's drag this rectangle to downward like this and then we'll go for our who layer and then we'll group everything make sure you group from the who to your with the control g the whole thing has been grouped like this so i can choose to on it and then off it like that okay so i'll open up the group layer and then make sure that this uh, image layer is outside the group okay so i'll be having this there like that okay so control t to make an adjustment to the group one yes control t to make an adjustment to the group one so control t and then we'll make sure the whole thing has become big like this okay so we'll be having this there control t again you know just be playing around the whole thing to suit your document okay so control z will be having this there and then i'll go back to my image there and then make sure i'll drag it here like that okay beautiful so from here we'll still be adding a couple of text to this document so hit on t to activate your text tool, and then we'll be having second edition all right so we're having second edition like this so control a select everything and then 
change the color to a white color like that okay so i save the whole thing in photoshop and then control t to you know make it bigger all right so i'll have this there like that okay use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing underneath um the cane so what we're we having this day so second edition all right so con just hit on t again to activate your text tool and then select only the second part and then change the color to this yellow color all right so accept the whole thing in photoshop and then go for your move two okay so i'll still go for my rectangular tool and then draw a very nice and small rectangle here like this okay i save the whole thing in photoshop and make sure to change the color from stroke to a white color i save the whole thing in photoshop and then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing under the second edition like this okay so the next thing to do is also um hit on t again to activate your test tool again then we'll be having 25th 25th to 27th um september but in this case the september i'm not going to spread the whole thing in full so control a select everything and then change the color from red to a yellowish or a white color yeah in this time in this case let's use a white color accept the whole thing in photoshop and then control t to make an adjustment or a transformation on that okay so we're having this there like that okay so drag and drop drag the whole like that okay so drag the whole thing underneath my rectangle i have drawn okay so i'll right click on my rectangle layer and then i will just need some space there again and then i'll still go for my group one and then drag it on top like this okay i just want to create a little bit of space for my outwork so i'll go for my second edition and then drag the whole thing on top like this and then i'll still go for my re rectangle and then make sure the whole thing is on top of my second edition like that beautiful and then finally i'll go for my date and then drag it on top like that all right so we have created a space for the time of the program okay so right click on the test tool again and then we'll be having 16 30 that is 4 30 daily 4 30 daily control a select everything but in this case i'm not going to use big nodules i'm going to use a font a font but in this case i'm not going to use big nodules again i'm going to use a font called acrobat and then make sure to change the whole thing from regular to black like that okay so i save the whole thing in photoshop ctrl t to make a transformation on that okay so we'll be having this day like that beautiful i save the whole thing in photoshop and then make sure the whole thing is aligned with your document like that okay let's add a little bit of stylish to this one so i will select the the date part and then change the color to yellow again all right well like that the whole thing is becoming more and more beautiful just take your time when doing all these kind of stuffs okay so the final thing to do or the next thing to do is to go for my rounded rectangle and then i will draw a very nice rounded rectangle here like that that is where the name of the pasta is going to be located so the whole thing is underneath the rectangle so i'll draw the whole thing on top like that and then make sure to change the color from stroke to a red color so i can choose a red color from here like that okay and then i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop beautiful all right so we'll be having profits activate your test tool. don't forget to activate your test tool for the so profit and this name i can't even pronounce it is it prophet ferras prophet ferras blessing 
zulu so control a select everything and then change the color from red to a white color accept the whole thing in photoshop and then drag the whole thing on top of the rectangle you have drawn use your arrow keys to position the whole thing to suit your document control t to make a little bit of adjustment to that okay this is becoming more and more beautiful all right so i'll again add a new layer to this and then hit on b as my brush tool and then i'll be adding a couple of brushes to this okay so i'll only do this and then make sure i'll hit on ctrl t to make a transformation on that so that the whole thing become more and more beautiful so i'm having this there like that okay so i'll drag the whole thing underneath my group one so that it will look more and more beautiful and then make sure to change the fuel color to 43 so that is the color i have used for the okay let's use 40 um 48 or 40 you can choose to use your own color but in this case i am using 43 or 47 in this case that is what i'll be using for now all right so let's increase the fuel color a little bit or are we having this day like that okay so ctrl g to make a duplicate and then drag the whole thing here like this again all right but in this case i'm not going to use um the reddish color so i'll right click and then go for my blending options and then choose a color overlay on top of this document so i'll be having this day but in this case i'll be using a blue color like that okay i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and then make sure i'll add a layer mask to it use my brush tool to brush off these places i don't need so i don't actually need all these places and i think this is exactly what i've shown you guys on the tab no all right so the final thing to do is to add a little bit of curves to this the whole thing looks so pale so i'll add a little bit of curve to this so i'll be having this day like that and the, the whole thing is becoming more and more beautiful okay let's go back to my who layer and then i'll add a couple of shadows to that the whole thing look too raw so i'll come for my shadow layer and then make sure to increase the opacity to somewhere here like that okay the whole thing is becoming too much or so something like this Will be more and more beautiful right click on the layer and then copy the layer style and then i'll come for my can layer and then i'll paste the layer style there so i'll paste this there i'll go for my um okay this is becoming more and more beautiful but in this case it is more it is too much so i'll change the opacity to somewhere like this okay and then i'll hit on enter all right so i'll go for my rectangular tool here like this and then i'll make sure to paste my layer star there as well so i'll be having this there all right so we'll be having our test tool again and then we'll have the name of the church so the church of christ the church church so church Church of Christ, Church of Christ, the local assemble. So the local assembly. Some call it assemble. Some call it assembly. Anyhow, I want to pronounce the whole thing. Is over to you as well. Okay, I'll make sure to change it from. I'm not going to use big noodle, so I'll have to change the font from this to a font called acrobat all right so i'll change it from regular to um extra bold and then make sure to transform the whole thing to become bigger like this okay so i'll set the whole thing in photoshop like this and then make sure to drag it here like that okay so right double click on the test layer and then change the color from white to a yellow color like this okay so i'll again right click on it to paste the layer star which is the uh the, the 
drop shadow or the shadow i have drawn for it all right so i'll change the opacity to become something like this and then this is becoming more and more beautiful all right so i want to thank you all for having time for this particular tutorial and i want to say may god bless you